A lot of the experts would say that the reason that the cholinesterase inhibitors don't work very well is because we give them way too late. And so there are a lot of studies now that go on thinking about family history. There are a lot of studies now that are looking at people with very positive family histories and doing some very sophisticated uh, blood tests and tests of uh, spinal fluid uh, to see if they have, and, and now with uh, amyloid PET scans, for instance, to see how much risk they have for developing Alzheimer's disease and starting those medications very early, way before they get symptoms of memory loss and other things. So it'll be interesting to see uh, about that. Um, almost all of the research done on treatment uh, right now focuses on amyloid. Amyloid is a, a glob of, 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 uh, of cell debris that uh, starts to gum up the works in the brain, uh, makes it hard for nerve cells to communicate with each other. And we know from the early days of Alzheimer's disease that these amyloid uh, plaques, they're called, uh, are very prominent in people with Alzheimer's disease. So lots of effort has been made to make those plaques go away with the idea if you can make the plaques go away then uh, then a person would do better but when you get right down to it what we want to do is to keep those plaques from forming in the first place so we got to figure out what is it that makes the plaque occur you know what what causes those uh, plaques to form and i think we don't know that yet and um, and there are a lot of studies, though, a lot of studies going on now. And uh, if you go to the Alzheimer's Association website, you can see a lot of clinical trials that are, in, uh, that are going on now. You can actually sign up uh, for, uh, you can put your profile in on the Alzheimer's Association website, and uh, they can match you with uh, some of the trials that might be, uh, that you might uh, meet criteria for. So a lot of opportunities for people and, and a lot of people that I see in the office, especially who are early in the disease or younger age, are very interested in uh, the clinical trials.